Town Hall 8 Mega Trophy Push Part 1 Plus 375 trophies and counting Welcome fellow Clash Addicts This is Merlin of Indigo Dragons Today we're looking at my mini account And I've had a big trophy push So I'm going to take you through what I did And how I did it uh, I started off in Gold League 2 And I pushed up past my best ever score So we started at 1635 trophies have so gone all the way up to crystal league three so here's some of the attacks managing to win pretty much every attack there through gold league um that's with the alternating between a hog strategy and a loons attack so we, we'll have a look at a few of these attacks but as you can see there i had training potions going i was attacking every few minutes i also had a um a troop power boost so I'll try and give you my guide to trophy pushing, and this is part one, I intend to carry on pushing past where I am now. So if you take a look at this first attack, uh, drawing out the CC troops, and we're going to pull them down to the bottom. So what we're looking for when we're trophy pushing is bases with plenty of trophies. The more trophies they've got, the more you can get, obviously, but also if you fail to get three stars, you still get... A larger amount of trophies but the crucial thing is if you go for bases with a lot of trophies then um, when if you actually do lose you won't lose so many um, important to remember to do with those clan castle troops and make sure you have a full clan castle of troops as well I recommend having dragons because they can deal with pretty much any um, town uh, clan castle troop might be thrown at you I've gone here in with two um, attacks of hogs on two sides take out the wizard tower straight away with the early heal on both to keep them going uh, the wizard towers are really bad uh, for hogs and so are mortars so we need to look at the base and see where they are notice there's some skeletons following me around there useful to have a poison spell that will get rid of those skeletons the hogs aren't going to fight back um, until they've got rid of all the defense buildings so you need to watch out for those girls and traps as well and the barbarian king as well so I'm town hall 8 so I'm only looking for town hall 8 bases here I'm not trying to stretch myself until I get up to the crystal league then we're looking for just town hall 8 um, when, when you get into crystal league you'll find that when you're searching for bases, most of them are going to be Town Hall 9. I might need to change strategy there. So, just using the hogs here, uh, it's a great three star attack there. Uh, King's still in full health, so if you've got a training potion going, that's great news because it means you can get on with your next attack. Right, so that's one of the hog attacks. I'll take a look at another attack now. When you start your attack, make sure you use that. 30 seconds or so to have a good look around the base and see what you need to watch out for so you're looking for barbarian kings and wizard towers if you're using hogs I, i'd recommend hogs I, I think that the hog and loons that i'm alternating between can pretty much take out any town hall 8 base um i certainly found that 90 percent of the attacks i was winning um about half of them i was getting three stars like hog attack and loon attack is Pretty much a one star or a three star strategy, very difficult to get two. But we'll look at, at what happens if things go wrong and how you can sort of funnel your king in. So just dealing with clan castle troops here, using the king to distract the wizard, using a poison spell to make sure they uh, don't hurt the king too much. Again, two different arms of hogs going in with two early heals. Now this one, you see the hogs on the right there um, they managed to get round uh, but the king took them out got to watch out for the king the wizards got rid of the king on the right hand side and then the king's able to punch through into the middle of the base uh, we'll get that town hall normally you'd want the king to go into the middle but it's quite useful to have him go around outside and clear out the base this one was a 99% I'm afraid because now I've slowed it down you see I'm just running out of time for that last hut so a little tip there make sure you have a few archers 
and watch out for those builder huts in the corners because that's going to stop you getting three stars drop a few archers in each corner to clear those out earlier on so i did this trophy push in one day i did it in about three one hour sessions each with a training boost and i managed to get 375 trophies in that time so a major push up and i also managed to get some upgrades going on my base i nearly maxed out my town hall i um managed to get six upgrades going i upgraded three lots of troops because there was an offer recently for 4,000 gems so i was able to gem some of those only 300 gems or so to finish the troop upgrade so there's not a lot left to do on my town hall 8 before i go to town hall 9 uh, it's in a good position for pushing up the trophies as soon as i get to town hall 9 i'm going to start finding more town hall 10s come up when i do multiplayer as uh, to do with the war weight of my base so i might stay at town hall 8 for a little bit see how far i can get that push up be nice if I could get into the Masters League. We'll see. Now at this attack I didn't manage to get the three stars. So what I did is put wizards in lines down each side to clear the outer buildings so that the king is not tempted to, to go around the outside. He stays in the middle and there's a few wizards there to support him to get into the middle of the base and try and get two stars. You need to remember to do this because this is the only way I think that you can manage to get two stars with a hog strategy that hasn't got rid of all the defences. You need to make sure that king is going into the base. Uh, once he's in the centre, there's very little to hit against him. He's just got one archer tower that can reach him there. So it's just a case of trying to get that town hall before we run out of time. Pop his ability and that's a good two stars so just watch out for that otherwise you'd end up with a 80-90% um, one star attack if you're trophy pushing don't be tempted to hit bases that are too high or too hard uh, maybe I'd have been tempted by rush town hall nines uh, certainly avoid looking at loot you're looking at a trophy so this one 33 trophies if I fail I lose 17 that's not so bad um, that's a town hall 9 you don't want that we're going to have to go for town hall 9 when we get into crystal league or higher but at this stage we just want to make sure we secure the win one loss can take three wins to recover so when you're trophy pushing you're really really wanting to guarantee a win on your attack that's quite a good base in terms of trophies. Uh, that's another Town Hall 9 there. So you've just got to be ruthless and patient uh, and keep going to find that Town Hall 8 you want. Now, I've got to watch out for the Clan Castle here because there's no tombstones. There's another thing to look out for. Ideally, go for a base that's got tombstones, uh, gravestones around because that suggests someone's attacked it and the traps haven't been reset. And the clan castle troops probably not in there. So that would give you an advantage. Just sent a balloon in there to draw out any clan castle troops. But there aren't any in this base. So we're going to drop a line of balloons down that side. This is quite a good base to just do sort of sweep across. And um, let the balloons get in close. Uh, heal by the wizard tower. And then use two rages to get those balloons quickly into the centre clear out most of the defences um, now we could use the the poison spell to get rid of the uh, flying skeleton traps that are there they'll take care of those and keep those balloons going a little bit longer and the wizard tower we can just manage to take that out there before it does too much damage just a couple of defences on the left hand side but I think we've got enough balloons there to finish those off and bring in the minions to clear up that's another thing with the balloon strategy that if you do manage to get all the targets all the defense targets then uh, the balloons move so slowly around the base and they tend to clump together that you might find that you run out of time to get those three stars so you need to bring in those minions and spread them out a bit and if you can try and get those to to funnel the the king into the base uh, because we need to try and clear up quickly once you've got all the defences out. 
So it's my intention to do uh, part two for this video and try and push up more trophies. If you want to see that, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button and then you'll see that when it comes out. And we're going to see how far we can push up. In a second, I'll just take a look at the armies that I had, that I was using. So if you're a Town Hall 8 and you want to push up as well, you can use the same armies, the same attack strategy. And just remember to watch out for those clan troops. So here's my armies. I've got a Hog Army, the Balloon Army, and uh, I've got a Go Wipe set up as well with a Hog to draw out Clan Castle troops. I'm expecting to have to go over to Go Wipe when I get to now I'm in Crystal League and hit some Town Hall 9s. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. I hope there's some good tips there for you. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks very much. Bye.